Okay, here's what I'm going to do today. Today I am looking at the VIC-20. If you look at my last video, you saw where I said the VIC-20 was probably the best retro gift, uh, at least of 2020, and I still stand by that. I've had a chance to play with it a little bit myself, but one of the things I've not had a chance to do is just go through every single game. So today I've got my handy dandy list here of the VIC-20 VIC 20 titles and there are 29 titles or games for the vic 20 on the vic 20 which is really redundant the vic 20 has vic 20 games on it it also has c64 games we will not be talking c64 games in this video we will only look at the vic 20 games some of these titles i remember some of them i don't most of them i do not which will be interesting so many of these games i am throwing up on the screen for the very first time and i'm going to give them a shot i'm not going to play very long because again we've got 29 titles to get through and that would take quite some time i'll load them up we'll see what they look like we'll get out we'll go to the next one and uh just have a little fun on a sunday afternoon Right, the Vic 20 2020 Retro Games Limited. Awesome. And as you can see, this is our first uh, screen on the Vic 20. Now, normally, this annoying music is just playing constantly. Uh, you can turn that off. If you look at the uh, bottom left of your screen, you'll see the music symbol. And you'll see if you hit the third button on your joystick, uh, that will turn it off. So let me show you kind of what that looks like. So here, you hit this little button right here. And you see that that turns off and on. Next thing we do is, of course, we can use the joystick to move around and make our selections. It does start in alphabetical order, which is good because the very first game we want to look at is Abductor. And here we have on the screen, we have Abductor. Zap the swirling alien hordes before they ram you and abduct your humanoids. Very nice. 1982 JCM. So um, nothing's happening. Let's hit button there we go so we just get started oh my goodness so it's a centipede like defender like thing so we've got to kill these things and save the people and die quickly let's see well, that's a little better oh. so i think i'm supposed to shoot them before they rise to the top let's try one more here Oh, I see. When they fall down, just don't let them hit you. Ooh, yeah. So they're deadly when they come back down. That's the problem. Okay, we'll do one more. All right, let's exit out of Abductor. So let's move over to Andy's attack again. This is a Alley Cat. This is a C64. We'll not be taking a look at that. Ooh, Andy's attack looks like a Defender clone. Your spacecraft must attack the descending aliens and frustrate their evil intent. Fly your Ram jet fighter over the Andes mountain range and protect your llamas. Interesting. Uh, from a kidnap by hostile UFOs. So for some reason, Hostile UFOs are capturing all of Earth's llamas. That should be interesting. This is another Jeff Minter game. It's a shoot 'em up from 1982. Let's say we load that one and see what we have. Andy's attack. Let's see. Skill level zero. Press fire to begin. We probably need to do skill level zero. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay, we are moving and dying quickly. Yes, this does have that defender's feel. Can I go back the other way? Oh, I can. I can go back the other way. Uh, this is actually quite good for a VIC-20 game. It's fairly responsive. I do have a little bit of lag just because of the system that I'm using with uh, OBS Studio. So there is a little bit of... Um, oh, there's a llama. Oh, I was hoping I could... Let's see if we can save that llama. There we go. I just saved the llama. So, oh, I just killed the llama. That's not good. Between the UFOs, these llamas, between the UFOs and me, these llamas have no chance. So that is Andy's Attack by Jeff Minter. You want to see that in full screen? Here we go. Here's full screen. Oh, see, I die just as quickly in full screen as I do in small screen.
So that is Andy's attack. What do we have next? Uh, next one we're going to go through is something called Arcadia. Arcadia. Arcadia is command the starship Arcadia against the Atarian nation. Hmm. Seems like a little slam on Atari. When it comes to video games, nobody compares to Atari. Gentlemen, move over for my friend Dave. Press any key. I'm just going to hit the space bar. There we go. And we are flying. And uh, here we go. And quickly died on that one. That's for sure. So let's try this again, see if I can do a little bit better. So this is a little bit like a typical shooter, like Galaxian, probably a little more like Galaxian than Galaga, or Galaga, depending on how you say it. And I am not very good at it. And I'm not going to blame latency on this game. I am just not good at this game. I'm going to do one more round. Let's go ahead and blow that up for you in full screen so that you can see this glorious full screen. Watch me die in glorious full screen. So that was Arcadia. Arcadia. Let's go ahead and exit that one. The next one on our list is something called Bewitched. Uh, not that uh, 60s, 70s uh, sitcom. This is transformed into a magical key. Roam the haunted labyrinths. Open the doors with the correct color key, but beware the ghosts who travel the maze trying to stop you. This is not a game we'll spend a lot of time on. I can already tell. This is one you would need to spend some time with, but let's go ahead and check it out. Okay. Do you require music? Ah, oh, hmm. Kind of fun, so... I can tell already I made a mistake. Definitely didn't want that music. Oh my gosh, that music is horrid. So it looks like I've got a black key and I need, to, oh, that's, uh, so I'm, I'm going to assume I need to take this to the blue door. I see one, but I can't get the controls to work with me here. I assume that that would open that door, but it is, oh, there it is, okay. So can we open this other door too? All right. Oh, and that wasn't a door, that was a wall. So we appear to be building a maze and I'm dead. So, and let's exit this game. So that was Bewitched. Again, nothing like the sitcom. Uh, next on our list is something called Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg. Let's go to Blitzkrieg. Llama Soft. What is it with llamas and DVIC 20? If you know what that is, uh, please let me know in the comments below why all the llama with the VIC-20 titles. So this one is Blitzkrieg, fly your Vulcan bomber, not a Star Trek reference by the way, over the enemy city and destroy the buildings. 25 levels of play, I'm sure I won't get through one. Yes, high res computer graphics. Those are awesome high res computer graphics. Let's see what we have here. Release bombs from a Vulcan bomber. Okay, degree of difficulty again uh, on the keyboard. This is nice, so I'm gonna hit one. Entry level, well, start with level one, right? Um, now this one I think I've played before because if I remember, the goal is to hit these higher towers first and knock them down. See, I just missed that one. And I can tell there's some latency because there we go, that's a good one. And you can't fire a new bomb until your other one is done. See, I missed that one up. So we wanna get some of these higher ones out first. That's a good one. Now I need to get this purple one and green one or I'm gonna die. That's good. Can I get this green one? Things are speeding up on me. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Yeah, so I'm dead. So there we go. That game is over. Let's go ahead and exit that one. And that was Blitzkrieg. The next one on our list is Brainstorm. So Brainstorm, Brainstorm. Get three humans and three Scions safely across the Great Crystal Plain on Psy. The only problem is that humans cannot be outnumbered by the Scions on either side of the plane. Man, this looks horrible. Look at those graphics. Uh, I feel like we're not going to be spending much time in here. I'm not even sure I know what to do. So let's, let's see if we can figure this game out. Hmm. Who goes across? I, you know, I feel I don't even need this. I feel this is an A, B, or C thing on the keyboard. So who goes across? Uh, the game said I had to have more humans and scions. Uh, so let's try A. 
and hit enter. Uh, uh oh, brainstorm. I feel like I have a brain storm. Okay, who goes across? I think I've missed something completely. I'm not going to worry about going back and trying to figure this out. Let's just try a few random things of what happens. That didn't seem to work well. Let's do D. Let's hit enter. There is no rower. There's no rower. What does that mean? Okay, so ooh, who goes back? Trip two. Well, F1 across. Does F go back? Uh, who goes across? Now I just feel like I'm in some kind of infinite loop here. Okay, so... Congratulations, that is Brainstorm. I am not uh, ashamed to admit I have no earthly idea what I'm doing, and from the looks of that game, I don't think I want to know what I'm doing. So let's move on for Brainstorm. Uh, by the way, if you know how to play Brainstorm, please leave that in the comments below. Maybe I'll come back to it. Maybe I'm missing something, uh, but I doubt it. Let's go to Ketcha Snatcha. Ketcha Snatcha. Uh, Eugene Evans created this game. Enter the Mad Mad World of the Store Detective. Oh, it's a detective story in what has to be the most chaotic superstore ever, built with hordes of harassed housewives doing their weekly shopping. Oh, wow, this is uh, showing its age a little bit. Collect lost property, lost children, and evacuating the building when planted bombs are found can only add to the fun. Sure, because finding bombs really adds to fun as you battle to keep the shop clear of shoplifters. So we've got wives, lost children, bombs, shoplifters, late night shopping starts. This is everything you could possibly want in a mall game. Let's try this out and see what we get. Hmm. Catch you, snatch you, press any key. All right, well, we're back to the keyboard. I have pressed any key. Now what? Uh, is that me? Where am I? Oh, here I am, right here. Uh, whoa. Anybody know what I'm doing? I have no earthly idea. What's this? It appears I can just go through anything. Where'd I go? Right. This is where, uh, one of those games where it really would be nice if the C64 came with a manual. Oh, something just happened. I just shifted something. Came with a manual so that we knew what we were doing on these games. Of course, I could look them up online, but where's the fun in that? Uh, we're just going to experience again these for the first time because I will tell you, even younger, uh, when I would play these games, rarely would I ever read the manual first. I just load them up and try them out. And um, all I'm doing right now is just moving this guy around. So not much fun there. Let's go ahead and try something else. Let's get out of here. So that was Ketcha Snatcha. Uh, let's go to Connect 4. Oh, we know what Connect 4 is. This won't take long. We'll just go do a quick look at Connect 4. I'm not even going to uh, share my screen here. Let's see, space to begin. How many players? We're just going to play with one. Uh, we're going to put one. Uh, I'll go first this time. And look, time is even over two lines. That's not great. Black move or stop. Uh, let me go on top of that one, four. Here we go. Black mover stop. Well, we're going to go ahead and stop because we all know how to play Connect 4 and that just is not that much fun. So let's go ahead and exit this one. Get out of here. Next game we have is Encounter. So let's go ahead and move on to Encounter. Encounter. Would you know what to do if you encountered extraterrestrial beings? Yes. Call the government. In this game, you are snatched off the earth and space invaders play you. I'm being played by space invaders. This will be interesting. I had never heard of this game. Never seen this game. Oh, what do we have? Uh, we got a beep on our radar. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, we have an encounter. I'm assuming this is a loading screen. Experience the thrill and terror of first contact. A little copyright infringement there from uh, Steven Spielberg for this game. What do you have? It's a beautiful warm summer night. This is almost like an adventure game. It's a beautiful warm summer night. The sky is 
plush black velvet. The only sound, a soft breeze. You could never ever imagine what is about to happen to you. What is about to happen to me? I'm a little scared. Something flying across the sky. Was that a meteorite? I'm not, looked like an asterisk to me, but if you want to call it a meteorite, that's okay. I wonder if anyone else saw it. Nope, just me. That was something else. Oh no, it couldn't be. Is this a game? What is this? I feel like I'm watching a movie, an 8-bit movie, which I'm kind of digging. Something has landed. Is this my close encounter? That looks like a UFO to me. A UFO. Must try to get closer. How do I do that? Do I do that? Does it do that? That's interesting. Oh my. Door has opened and we have alien encounter. This is actually quite impressive. Let's stop here because I could get sucked into that rabbit hole. That is Encounter. It is a puzzle game. I'm, you know, I'm intrigued by that one. I think I'm going to do some research on that one and come back to it. Now, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to to get through these games. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our next game called a Frantic Frog. And then I'm going to stop there. You're going to have to come back for part two. So uh, let's go ahead and go to Frantic Frog. We're not Frantic Frog, we just want to go to something called Frantic. Frantic Frog sounds like a fun game, but we're just looking for a game called Frantic. Evacuate and mine the many rooms of Spectrum research, then destroy the alien life forms. Let's try this out and see what it looks like. So this is Frantic. We'll do Frantic and then we'll do Frog Chase and call it a day for now. So this is pressing the key. All right, this is, this is Frantic. What do I do now? Oh, I see. So up and down the side, I have a radar, and then I can shoot those little guys. I got you. Oh, there I go up. Where are you? I don't like the way the game is really small on the screen, and I'm not sure. If I look at my scoreboard, I've not scored anything. Let's see, where am I? Let's, let's try and score before I quit. I find myself with my mouth just hanging open a lot as I play these games. I'm not sure what that's about. Apologies, though. Uh, okay. Oof. Enough of that one. Enough of that one, I say. All right, so let's get out of that one. That was frantic. I thought I would get through all 29 of these, but I'm just having way too much fun, and it's taking a lot of time. So this is Frog Chase. You have three lives and 30 seconds, only 30 seconds, to guide your frog home to Lily Pad. Dodge the trucks and hitch a ride on logs. This is, ba this is obviously a Frogger clone. So let's do a little Frogger to end up today's look at the... Vic 20 games. Use joystick controls or U, H, J, and N. Well, I'm definitely going to use joystick. Press any key. Will the button work? It does. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can remember our Frogger days. I have to remember I only have 30 seconds. Oh, I never was good at this game. I stink at this game, as a matter of fact. Oh, my goodness. Play another game. Let's. I, I'm going to try and save face here. Oh, I thought I could make it. Um, it's a little laggy, I will say that, and I don't think it's because of my capture card either. It uh, it feels like it's almost programmed in basic. Okay, well, enough of that. Let's exit. And let's go back to our full screen here. And, uh, you know, I, I feel really bad. I feel like we should do one more. Let's do Grid Runner, and uh, then we'll call it a day. So, uh, Grid Runner... There it is. Now, Grid Runner is a game that I played back in the day. Almost everybody who had a Vic 20 played Grid, Grid Runner. So this is really a great place to stop for this video. So let's go ahead and pull up Grid Runner. All right. 
I never was uh, very good at this. Actually, I take that back. This is another uh, Jay Mentor game. I was actually pretty good about, with this game back in the day. It's going to be interesting to see if any of that muscle memory, memory comes back. There we go. Oh, man, it just seems harder than it did back in the day. Is that possible? Well, I'm lasting longer than I thought I would. Yeah, still not that great, right? Let's do one more. Oh, wow. I do like this game, though, I have to admit. This is one of those frantic games that's just a ton of fun to play. And I think I want to come back and play some more of this a little bit later. Oh, uh, okay. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and exit this. Okay, so that's our first look at uh, the Vic 20. We got through the games today were Abductor, Andy's Attack we looked at, Arcadia, Bewitch, Blitzkrieg, Brainstorm, Catch a Snatch a, Connect Four, Encounter, Frantic, Frog Chase, and Grid Runner. We will come back in the next video and I'll cover the rest of them, which include Harvester, Headbangers Heaven, Hellgate, Laser Zone, and just a whole collection of uh, games I've never heard of. So that, uh, concludes my quick look at the Vic 20 Vic 20 games on this quick episode of, of Retrocomb. So at this point, Retrocomb's out.